Hello everybody, I told you I'm going to do a, a more detailed review of the chicken brooder and I'm doing another batch, so I'm going to start another batch. This video series is going to take obviously three and a half weeks because it's 21 days in the incubator. So I'll just put the videos out as they go. So before I get any questions, this is the incubator I bought. Uh, it, it's really good, it's got great reviews, it's easy. It is styrofoam, so you can crush it. But a nice thing about this compared to a lot of the others, the others that are just plastic aren't insulated, so there's a big big shift in temperature all the time. This temperature is real, real steady. I did get the automatic egg turner made for this one. This whole system was around 200 bucks, So it is, it is a little spendy, but you can produce chickens all year long without even any easier. And you can see... This will also do quails, uh, ducks, pheasants, so you can, I think if, if, I think you got to take the egg turner out, but you can even do ostriches. So, and if you want a good book, I didn't do too many chickens before in the past. This came recommended to me, uh, Hatching and Brooding by Gail uh, Damaro. Really good book. Uh, teaches you just some stuff here and there to help you out. But here's basically it. Uh, you got... Take this off, cover off. Here's what the inside... Here's the egg turner plugs in. You got a grate here that you leave down. Uh, and in here there's channels. Let me go here out of the light. You can see how there's channels. This outside channel goes up and around. You fill that up with water uh, during your, uh, let me grab that. I'll show you what that is for later. When they're incubating to get the humidity up. And you raise your humidity the last three days, so then you fill the first two chambers. As needed, you might not have to, depend on your area. It's got a gauge, I'll explain that later. I'll explain where I'm at in North Texas. What I had to do here was easy, easy, easy here. So basically, I'm going to start collecting eggs today. And I normally get, depending on the day, 10 to 15 chicken eggs a day right now. But when you get the eggs, you do not wash them. Like you can see, it's been muddy out lately. Uh, this is mud right here. It is, yeah, because we've been getting so much rain. See how the egg's got the pointy end down here? That end always goes down in the incubator. When you get the eggs, pointy end down. You just put them in there. And that's it. Uh, when you're first starting out, I'll take these out so I don't break them. When you are first starting out, I'll move these out of the way. Okay. You keep the incubator off. I just store the eggs in here. Uh, just to protect them. You want them at room temperature. Not cold, not hot, room temperature. But you can collect them for three, four, five days before you really have to start incubating them. Because that way you can start them all the same day so they all hatch together. Because if I turn it on and put them in every day, well, they're going to be hatching three to six days apart. And I do not want that. I want them all at once. So I'll start collecting and filling them up. You do not want any misshapen or really big eggs because if you if you raise your own chickens, you will know the big ones, the double yolkers. You don't want them. You don't want the really small eggs because you know every now and then you get a small egg. And you know every now and then one's just kind of misshapen, just a little different. You don't want any of them. So I'm just going to collect them till it's full. It'll be uh, three, four days. This holds 42. So depending on the day, three, four days, should be full, shouldn't be an issue. After that, I put water in this tray. I uh, put the lid back on, and it does have a notch built in for this here. And I turn the power, turn the power strip on. So, and I'll turn it on now so you can see it. This is a cap that goes here to adjust the humidity level. You have to play with that to see what your humidity level is. Now, I had to fill the water every three days inside there. Open it up, pour a little water in. It was probably about a cup of water, and that was it. 
Now, where I was at in North Texas, the perfect way to keep the ideal humidity, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, was this lid here wasn't on, it wasn't off. It was just like that, believe it or not. Blocked just some of the airflow, because this is a forced air. You can hear the fan pushing in the air there, so a little's coming out there. This tells you the temperature right there, tells you humidity level, and the set temperature. So that's all there's to it, and it keeps the temperature perfect, and the humidity you adjust with that. If you're in a really super, super dry area, you might have to fill up both chambers right away. It's You're going to have to play with that. Temperature, humidity, everything like that, go research it online or grab that book. Uh, but basically, you keep them in here. Uh, it takes 21 days to hatch. Uh, on day 17, 18, you take the turner off and you put the eggs in for the last two, three days, not in the turner. I took mine on day 17, not in the turner. Uh, so when the chickens come out, they don't get crushed and, <laughs> and they die and they can peck out naturally because if they're in there, they might not be able to peck out. So that's a basic overview of this and how this one works. It's super easy. I can highly recommend this one. Uh, you can do a lot of, a lot of them. I'm going to be doing a batch every two months. Uh, now every rooster I have is probably going to be meat chicken. The hens I will keep, most of them, uh, until my flock is the size I want. Then I will start selling the hens to other people. So, Or if I have too many and can't sell them, well, then they will become dinner too. So that's it. That's why I'm raising my own chickens, so I can uh, uh, have my own uh, chicken meat and plus eggs and stuff like that. So that's a basic overview of how this works. Uh, in a few days, once I get this full and I turn it on, I will show you what that looks like. Have a great day, everybody.